Welcome to a really crazy deck that's been making the rounds. It's Tip the Scales Murloc Paladin. Nobody thought Tip the Scales is going to be any good. I think I might have even theorized that you could Prismatic Lens out Tip the Scales. That would be very high rolling, and indeed it is, because if you're not playing Prismatic Lens on 4 and then tipping the scales on 5, you lose pretty often. Interestingly, there's also Zephyrus and Sir Finley of the Sands in here, because you can Mill, uh, you can mill your deck so fast with Tip the Scales that these this will be a singleton deck. Chef Nomi is in here as well because somehow you actually run out of cards in your deck. The Madman! I will fight with honor. This is an unfortunate matchup because it's one of the few decks that can clear your tip to scales on turn 5. When you don't draw Tip the Scales, well, actually, when you specifically don't draw Prismatic Lens, things go pretty badly. Pretty badly. For justice. We'll see. It's still good. It's still good. Unfortunately, when you tip the scales, they have Brawl and Warpath, which is very sad. Very, very sad. Reporting for duty. Let me tell you a story. Mystery buff, uh, not at its best here. This place is scary. I gotta move. Fading. But never lose help in your friendly Murlocs. Light the fuses. Okay, fine. Sometimes lose hope in your friendly Murlocs. Probably won't make much of a difference, to be honest. It's like one. Move quickly. Yep. Pro tip: If you don't cast tip the scales in this game by turn eight, you usually lose. Here we go! Is it time to win? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's enough more locks in here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I should trade this off. I think this should go before that. I have nothing with charge. 
No, I actually shouldn't have done that because the board's about to get cleared anyways. I'm done. Job done. But now we get the big payoff of Sir Finley on the sands. Wow. Wow. Well, I mean, it's something. That's actually nothing. Whatever, it drew two cards. It's fine. Probably best is this, since this can just... This is double that. For justice. We are currently a little bit behind our opponent. I'm Two, four, five, seven, eight. But have hope! Zephyrus will be here to save us. And Nomi. I think the goal here is actually... Hmm, Jaraxxus is actually a little bit too slow since I'm going to be taking major fatigue damage. Maybe I should have chosen the mage hero pair. I'm almost out of cards. Your wish is my suggestion. Zephyrus is like, you're pretty screwed, buddy, but this is what I can do. Alright. For justice. Guess I'll take it. The battle! Put your faith in the light. I'm out of cards. Don't test me, child. Well, I'm aware this is not a very uh, impressive first showing, but uh, that goes to show the high nature, high rolling nature of this deck, and we queued against our worst matchup. To just be ready to lose like this. Prepare to lose. So this deck is simple. Just draw for his mana cleansal. And in the case that you don't draw Prismatic Lens, just draw a good curve of Murlocs. <laughs> and in the case that none of that happens, just press the button. Your wish is my suggestion. Hmm. Turn three, uh, probably gonna get offered Animal Companion here. See if he plays the Zephyrus card. To my side. Not the Zephyrus card. So, uh, I failed because I didn't play Prismatic Lens on turn four. That doesn't mean you lose. Nope, nope. Because you can still draw Prismatic Lens and then play Tip the Scales for five off of one of the one drops. Got something to hide? So we're still good. We're still good. Hmm. Interesting. 
interesting. Reporting for duty. To my side. Ah, oh, the Actually could have had a 4-1 Huffer still. But I guess he didn't care. That's uh it's good for me. And here I thought he was gonna play Dino Tamer Brin. Actually insane. I wonder. Get ready to have these scales tipped on you. You should probably have hit face. Ah, we're fine. But I should have hit face. That Murloc almost soloed King Crush. Good job, Murloc. Murlocs in the deck. One, two, three, four. Four Murlocs in the deck. Important to have the count. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna hard play around explosive. Alright. So, I think we're going to win this one, which is good since we did not do a super high roll. Okay, bummer. Okay, maybe we won't win. Let's see, the three secrets were Explosive Trap, Snake Trap, and Pressure Plate. I think I want to get mm. the big card. Oh, the Flare! Is the Flare even that good? I actually don't think Flare is that good here. I think I'm just gonna play uh, mm. it last. Since it might get Flare, it might give something big, whatever.
There's the flare. Saren Black Knight. Makes sense. Anti taunt card. Flare. There. Now again, their explosive trap, snake trap, pressure plate. So it's not that big a deal. But I guess I can always flare Chef Nomi. Which is a reasonable end game play. And then we're just relying on Chef Nomi to uh, cook the rest of the game here. Flare is also the perfect card in that it guarantees that I get Nomi. I'm Thanks, Ephraim. That I get uh, Nomi active, even. I'm out of cards. The battle. All right. Brilliant. Wings of the sun, come to my aid. Aunt Divine Shield. Wow, what a pain. Do I have lethal? Poke, poke, poke. That's 24, so that's lethal. Plus the 6 from Lyra. Well, that's an exciting finish with not the ideal draw, but still works out, even if the opponent high rolled the Flark Boomzooka. Feels good. Murloc Tide Collar, I think, is the one card you keep that doesn't tip the skills. And then I have Murloc Tide Collar. I guess I should keep Fish Flinger. No, I think that's. It's just Murloc Tide Collar. I think you just high roll for the Prismatic Lens otherwise. And besides, you can draw two one drops or you can draw the two drip. Here we go. Four, three mana, turn three, seven. So, what? That, that's not right. That's not it at all. Oh god, I won. Alright, well, this is what happens when you high roll with the deck. The battle. Just draw Prismatic Lens, look. I can play Tar Tasty Fin. I was about to say Turkey Fin. One four. But at least I draw four. Oh. I should not have a. Uh, well, I didn't know I would draw the Seer. I think I pass. But doesn't that just mean we pass forever? Yeah, I'll just pass. I'm drawing four and I get to play him. Oh. I must move Very good.
actually does not serve a role right now. Uther rolling out the ballista. Easy. Well Scargill Grimskill Oracle combo, by the way. That's a seven mana discount on a Murloc. We did it! We won! This is the perfect deck for players who want to just draw a card and win the game. Yes, it's actually very similar to Big Priest, where you just draw barns. Just draw barns, lol. The Hyrule King, just in case the opponent happened to have technology such as Lightning Storm in their deck. Or with this discovery. Maybe Kanka here doesn't know about this deck yet. Maybe he took the box. From nothing. Power. He's looking. Nice. The battle! Kanka, you're finished! Or are you? Well, if the first one doesn't kill you, maybe the second one will. For rush. Okay. Nice. Very nice. I actually have nine Murlocs left in this deck. Wow. Okay. Well, I don't have enough mana. That's bad. This is a bad result that just happened. Okay, so the the game plan here is basically the next turn I'm playing Tip to Scales again. Uh, mm. I'm going to follow up with like Chef Nomi ASAP. On this turn, I just want to not draw Murlocs. So probably two one three. I must move quickly. Let me think. <laughs> To the now. I hate to know that they have two damage AoE, but two damage AoE at least doesn't kill quite a number of these three health uh, Murlocs that are coming up. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Murlocs in there. I would like to get the War Leader out so that both of these can kill Gromish. But that's not essential. More important, just get all the relax out. Job done. Fortunately, three health is bigger than two. Reborn actually comes into play because both battle cries occur first. Under what world would you pick Wind Fury as your oh probably the mystery box? That's disgusting. Okay, we need some healing. I think Zephyrus will get us some good stuff here. Hmm. Siphon Soul. It's healing and it's removal, or BGH. 
I hate dying to just um, do damage Lucky right now. This also gets me out of range of Zappy Boy. Zappy Bug, rather. Alright, it's time for the grand finale. Oh. This is fine. Well played. Oh. Well played. It's Bug Boy. Engaging TC. Oh, it's this and Bug Boy. This just makes me feel worse. Wait. Okay, now it's Bug Boy. Wait, did I win? Oh, right. There's fatigue. Womp, womp, womp. So there you have it, a very high rolly deck, and uh, can be answered by a number of answers. But very exciting, and uh, certainly when you get four mana for Prismatic Lens, you almost always win. Out of the hall of explorers. Legends are the